So I will uh, download and install free RPG modifications for the construct source server. Okay, first off, go to my website and the download the server configs, the newest one, and the uh, default map cycle. Then go to the um, event scripts for, uh, page and download the newest event script for the Windows version. And then go to the source RPG mod and download it as well. Uh, the output version is this uh, code here. I will use basic out with this code. Just copy and paste this in your autoexec file. I will show you that. Uh, and then you will need SPE for some skills to work. Uh, I don't find SPE to work, so I will want to use it. Here you can download SPE if you want. Uh, okay, so now what we'll need to do is to install everything. Mm. Uh, the configs that I mentioned from my website is uh, including the MOTD file. The MOTD file should be uh, in here, and then the server and autoexec file should be in here. So it's the autoexec file that I am going to modify. Okay, and then you will need the default map cycle in here as well and now I will install the event script that I downloaded just drag and drop it yes and then Yes. And then what we we'll need to do is to go to the autoexec file and uh, in here you have the basic out provider. It's an ad admin list and then you load the uh, source RPG from this uh, code here and then I will start the server and I will see you in game I'm in the game's uh, server browser I will now connect to my server mm, yep and the, the RPG mode seems to work uh, I type RPG menu I have some skills in here okay and then you type RPG admin admin it works as well and you can load and unload skills from here okay so now I will show you the other modification so this is uh, modification number two um, you need even script that I already have and uh, to download it you click here there are many skills in here the parachute skills need SPE since I don't find SPE to work, I will uh, unload that skill. Okay. So what I will do is to first uncomment this line in autoexec, then load the new RPG mod with that line instead, and then I will install the new modification. Uh, yep. Drag and drop the folders as, as you did before. Yes, to replace them. Go into CFG, uh, the new, and then look for the skill that we want to disable. Change this line to zero. Then we will go to the main config uh, the main config and scroll down to the admin sections and then copy I copy my own steam ID into the main config ok 
okay save that and now we should be able to just restart the server yeah I see you in game so I mean the browser again and we connect and then we can see the it's running the newest RPG mod and we will type RPG menu to see the menu you have <coughs> some more skills in here actually okay and what we'll do next is to test if admin is working and if it works as well okay so I will now show you the source mod version For the source mod version to work, you will need uh, the meta mod so for the source games. You can download it uh, from uh, this page if you click on Windows Downloads and you pick a link in here. And then you will need uh, a file that can load uh, the server. And yeah, you just click Construct Source and then you generate the VDF file. Uh, you also need uh, the source mod uh, and you can get it if you click uh, under the downloads releases and then on the windows tab and uh, this is the RPG mod that is for the source mod uh, click on this link to download it so what I will want will do now is to go back to the CS strike folder and we'll open up the metamod source package mm source uh, drag and drop the add-ons folder yes to replace the add-ons folder and then open up the source mod folder the zip file drag and drop those files come on come on come on uh, yep yes and then uh, the newest RPG as well drag and drop the add-on folder yes ok go into add-ons uh, source mod configs and then we will open up databases in here we will do a new database entry we can close the old server ok um just paste it in here uh save it the main we can close that parachute we can close without exec we can uncomment those two because we are using source mod now uh okay and then what we will do is to go to the admin simple text file uh, then we will copy the steam ID from here paste it in this file and then we will give I will give myself all permissions like that save it okay and I will see you when the server is started. I forgot two things to do. In the add-ons folder you will need this VDF file that you created in here and also in the metamod folder you will need to force this to load source mod uh, because uh, the newer update made so it won't source mod won't 
read this file. It did before. Okay. Paste it and so it should be like that. And then I will start the server. Then you can see here in my uh, server here <coughs> that everything is loaded and the last entry says that the newest RPG is loaded as well. So in if we start this game, let's close that. Should be running the newest RPG now. And if we type RPG menu. Yep, we have the upgrades here. Uh, if we type in the console sm underscore admin, we have the admin menu for source mod, and in here the fourth uh, menu entries for the admin menu for the RPG mod. And we can edit players, reset all in game players, and reset database. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I will now stop.